Hello, my dear students. Today, we are going to discuss a very important topic in food packaging. Aseptic packaging system. When we talk about food packaging, there are three main packaging systems. They are aseptic packaging, modified atmosphere packaging, and active packaging. Aseptic packaging is a method in which food is sterilized or commercially sterilized outside of the can, usually in a continuous process and then aseptically placed in previously sterilized containers which are subsequently sealed in an aseptic environment. That means, after cooling, the sterile food product is pumped to an aseptic packaging system where the food is filled and hermetically sealed into previously sterilized containers. Here you can see an image that explaining the process of aseptic processing and packaging. In practice, generally there are two specific fields of application of aseptic packaging technology. The first one is packaging of pre-sterilized and sterile products. For that, examples are milk and dairy products, puddings, desserts, fruit and vegetable juices, soups, sauces, and products with particulates. And, the second one is, packaging of non-sterile product to avoid infection by microorganisms. In that case, Examples of this application include fermented dairy products like yogurt. Aseptic packaging technology is fundamentally different from that of conventional food processing by canning. In canning, the process begins with treating the food prior to filling. Initial operations inactivate enzymes so that these will not degrade the product during processing. The package is cleaned, and the product is introduced into the package, usually hot. Generally, Air that can cause oxidative damage is removed from the interior. The package is hermetically sealed and then subjected to heating. The package must be able to withstand heat up to about 100 degrees Celsius for high acid products and up to 127 degrees Celsius for low acid products, which must receive added heat to destroy heat-resistant microbial spores. Packages containing low acid, above pH 4.5, food must withstand pressure as well. Although conventional canning renders food products commercially sterile, the nutritional contents and the organoleptic properties of the food generally suffer in the processing. Moreover, tinplate containers are heavy in weight, prone to rusting, and are of high cost. This figure is a simple illustration comparing the basic difference between conventional canning and aseptic packaging processes for the production of shelf-stable food products. Now, let's see advantages of aseptic packaging. There are three main advantages of using aseptic packaging technology. First one is, the packaging materials, which are unsuitable for in-package sterilization can be used. Therefore, lightweight materials consuming less space offering convenient features and with low cost such as paper and flexible and semi-rigid plastic materials can be used gainfully. Second one is, sterilization process of high temperature short time, HTST for aseptic packaging is thermally efficient and generally gives rise to products of high quality and nutritive value compared to those processed at lower temperatures for longer time. And third is, extension of shelf life of products at normal temperatures by packing them aseptically. Besides the features mentioned above, additional advantages are that the HTST process utilizes less energy, as part of the process heat is recovered through the heat exchangers and the aseptic process is a modern continuous flow process needing fewer operators. When consider the process, aseptic processing comprises the following. Sterilization of the products before filling. Sterilization of packaging materials or containers and closures before filling. Sterilization of aseptic installations before operation. Maintaining sterility in this total system during operation. Sterilization of all media entering the system, like air gases, sterile water, and production of hermetic packages. In aseptic processing, the design to achieve commercial stability is based on the well-founded principles of thermal bacteriology and integrated effect of time, temperature treatment on spores of microorganisms. Pre-sterilization of a product usually consists of heating the product to the desired UHT temperature, maintaining this temperature for a given period in order to achieve the desired degree of sterility, with subsequent cooling, usually to ambient temperature and sometimes to an elevated temperature to achieve right viscosity for filling. Heating and cooling should be performed as rapidly as possible to achieve the best quality, depending upon the nature of the product. A fast heat exchange rate is desired for cost reasons. Various heat transfer methods are used, 
but essentially the systems can be divided into direct and indirect heat exchange methods. Some of the latest methods of sterilization of products include microwaves, electrical resistance heating, high voltage discharge, and ultra high pressure. Heat, chemicals, and radiation have been used, alone or in combination, for sterilization of aseptic equipment and packaging materials. Practical considerations and regulatory requirements have limited the number of sterilant, which are used for aseptic systems. Let's see about using heat. Initially, heat was used as the sterilant for aseptic systems as a natural extension of thermal processing. Product supply lines and fillers are commonly sterilized by moist heat in the form of hot water or saturated steam under pressure. Dry heat in the form of superheated steam or hot air may also be used to sterilize equipment. However, due to the relatively high dry heat resistance of bacterial endospores, the time temperature requirements for dry heat sterilization are considerably higher than those for moist heat sterilization. Since, relatively large masses of metal are often present in aseptic filling and packaging systems, high temperatures and relatively long holding periods are necessary to assure that appropriate sterilization has occurred. Systems employing moist heat are frequently sterilized at temperatures ranging from 121 degrees Celsius to 129 degrees Celsius, while 176 degrees Celsius to 232 degrees Celsius is used for sterilization by dry heat. In addition, sterilization of air by incineration usually is conducted at temperatures ranging from 260 degrees Celsius to 315 degrees Celsius. Hydrogen peroxide is the overwhelming choice for use as a chemical sterilant. Other chemicals which have been used as sterilant, primarily for use in systems for acid food, include various acids, ethanol, ethylene oxide and parasitic acid. Hydrogen peroxide is not an efficient sporicidal when used at room temperature. However, the sporicidal activity increases substantially with increasing temperatures. Therefore, most aseptic packaging systems use hydrogen peroxide, at concentrations of 30 to 35%, as a sterilant for packaging materials followed by hot air to dissipate residual hydrogen peroxide. The next one is radiation. Gamma radiation has been used for decades to decontaminate packaging materials for use in aseptic systems for packing acid and acidified food. Due to the penetrating powers of gamma radiation, packages are treated in bulk at commercial irradiators. A dose of approximately 1.5 megaradians is commonly used to decontaminate containers for acid and acidified food. Recently, processes for low-acid food aseptic filling and packaging systems are also being accepted. Doses required to sterilize containers for use with low-acid food are considerably higher than those required for acid and acidified food. Other types of radiation are not widely used in aseptic systems. While equipment size, speed and costs have precluded use of electron beam irradiators until now, it is only a matter of time before such a system is developed. Ultraviolet, UVC, light has been used to decontaminate food contact surfaces. The low penetration and problems associated with shadowing limit the use of UVC for aseptic systems packaging of low acid food. Next step is filling. Once the product has been brought to the sterilization temperature, it flows into a holding tube. The tube provides the required residence time at the sterilization temperature. The process is designed to ensure that the fastest moving particle through the holding tube will receive a time temperature process sufficient for sterilization. Since there is some loss of temperature as product passes through the holding tube, the product temperature must be sufficiently high on entering so that even with some temperature drop, it will still at least be at the prescribed minimum temperature at the exit of the holding tube. No external heating of the holding tube should take place. A deaerator is used to remove air, as most products, which are aseptically processed, must be deaerated prior to packaging. The air is removed to prevent undesirable oxidative reactions, which occur as the product temperature is increased during the process. The deaerator generally consists of a vessel in which the product is exposed to a vacuum on a continuous flow. The sterilized product is accumulated in an aseptic surge tank prior to packaging. The valve system that connects the surge tank between the end of the cooling section and the packaging system allows the processor to carry out the processing and packaging functions more or less independently. The product is pumped into the surge tank and is removed by maintaining a positive pressure in the tank with sterile air or other sterile gas. 
The positive pressure must be monitored and controlled to protect the tank from contamination. Then, we are going to talk about seals and closures. Any aseptic system must be capable of closing and or sealing the package hermetically to maintain sterility during handling and distribution. The integrity of the closure and seal is therefore of paramount importance. The integrity of the heat seals used in most aseptic systems is principally influenced by the efficiency of the sealing system used and by contamination of the heat seal area by the product. To avoid recontamination, the production units, which are tight, are required. Two systems are manufactured in the Tetrapack system, the longitudinal and the transverse seal. Longitudinal sealing refers to the process of sealing the edges of the packaging material in the direction of the product flow, typically creating a continuous seam along the length of the package. During the process, the packaging material, usually in the form of a roll, is unwound and formed into a tube. And, the edges of the tube are brought together and sealed using heat, pressure, or ultrasonic welding. And, this forms a continuous tube that can be filled with the product. This seal ensures that the sides of the package are closed, maintaining the sterility of the contents during filling and after sealing. Transversal sealing refers to the process of sealing the ends of the packaging, typically perpendicular to the product flow. During the process, once the tube is filled with the product, the transversal sealing mechanism clamps down and seals the tube at regular intervals. This results in individual packages being formed and sealed from the tube. And, the seals are typically made using heat and pressure, ensuring that the contents are hermetically sealed. This seal ensures that each individual package is fully enclosed, maintaining sterility and preventing leakage or contamination. Here, in the image, you can see how these seals are formed. Packaging material is very important when we learn about aseptic packaging. The packaging material must be compatible with the product intended to be packed and must comply with applicable material migration requirements. And, physical integrity of the package is necessary to assume containment of the product and maintenance of sterility. The package material must be able to withstand sterilization and be compatible with the methods of sterilization. The package must protect the product from oxygen. Also, package must retain the aroma of the product. Here, in this figure, you can see the different sensitivities of aseptically packed products. Packaging for aseptic was particularly demanding of the long shelf life, high seal integrity, and consumer appeal. However, because plastic material is so important to aseptic packaging, it is useful to discuss some special properties demanded of plastics by aseptic process itself. Plastic which are used in aseptic packaging should have following properties. Chemical resistance and wettability, thermal stability, low levels of contaminating microorganisms, and resistance to ionizing radiations. Aseptic package has not only to protect the product but also to maintain the quality of the product. Hence, the structure as well as composition of aseptic packaging are more complex and vary depending on product application, package size, and package type. Factors such as seal strength and integrity, package shape, stiffness and durability, as well as barrier properties determine the choice and or combination of materials required. Generally, to achieve all required properties, aseptic packages incorporate more than one material in the structure that is assembled by lamination or co-extrusion process. Tetra Pak is a multinational food packaging and processing company, known for its innovative packaging solutions that allow perishable food items to be stored and transported without refrigeration. The company was founded in 1951 in Sweden and has since become a leading provider of processing and packaging solutions for food and beverages. Tetra Pak offers the following packaging systems currently, Tetra Brick Aseptic, Tetra Classic Aseptic, Tetra Fino Aseptic, and Tetra Wedge Aseptic. These packages come in various sizes and shape configurations. And, the packages also have a variety of openings and closures appropriate to product and consumer needs. Here you can see different kind of Tetra Packs. Tetra Pak aseptic cartons are made of three basic materials that together result in a very efficient, safe and lightweight package. Each material provides a specific function. Here you can see. Three types of materials are used to make aseptic cartons. 80% of paper to provide strength and stiffness, 
15% of polyethylene to make packages liquid tight and to provide a barrier to microorganisms, and 5% of aluminum foil to keep out air, light, and off flavors all the things that can cause food to deteriorate. Combining each of these three materials has enabled Tetra Pak to produce a packaging material with optimal properties and excellent performance characteristics. Higher degree of safety, hygiene and nutrient retention in food. Preserving taste and freshness. Can be kept for months with no need for refrigeration or preservatives. Efficient. A filled package weight is 97% product and only 3% packaging material, using a minimum quantity of materials necessary to achieve a given function. A good example of resource efficiency is its lightweight. Here in the picture, you can see which layers are responsible for the barrier of microorganisms, light, moisture, oxygen, and smell. In the case of bulk aseptic packaging, aseptic bag in box system caters to packaging of high as well as low acid products and products containing particles for filling range from 25 liters up to 1140 liters. Typical packaging applications are fruit juices, concentrates, purees, tomato products, milk and cream, coconut products, and jam. Now, let's see working principle of bulk aseptic packaging. The packages are manufactured from a variety of laminates to match the product and required shelf life. The packages are provided with patented spouts designed for aseptic filling. The inside of the package is sterilized before delivery. The packages are supplied flat preventing the entry of air or gas. They are available in volumes from catering size up to sizes intended for shipping of product from manufacturer, grower to processor, packer, distributor. All packages are intended to be supported when filled by an outer container, for instance a drum or heavy-duty box. Advantages of bulk aseptic packaging are safety, reliability, extended shelf life, and product quality. Bulk aseptic packaging is safe due to followings. Steam sterilization of spout and sterilization effect can be controlled and recorded. No chemical sprays used to sterilize the chamber. Spout is tamper-proof. Safer sterilization and easier to monitor. No risk of adding chemicals to the product. And no risk of laminate material relating with chemicals. It is reliable because the filling machine is uncomplicated as there is no sterile chamber. Filling is controlled by weight. This ensures accuracy as no adjustments for specific gravity need to be made. And customer will have one partner with worldwide service organizations and long experience in processing and packaging technology. They can extend the shelf life due to followings. High oxygen barrier of the laminate. Laminate is less susceptible to flex cracking. Secure spout with limited possibility of oxygen permeation. Spout is made of HDPE, which has three times less oxygen transmission rate compared to LDPE. And there is no head space in the bag. Product quality is high because chemical browning is minimized due to high oxygen barrier properties of pouch material. A bulk aseptic bag is a multi-layer structure consisting of an outer barrier laminate and an inner bag in contact with the product. All bags are pre-sterilized using gamma irradiation and supplied flat. The level of gamma irradiation is specifically selected to facilitate packaging of high as well as low acid products. The bag has three distinctive features as below. Highly secure spout, outer bag barrier, and inner bag barrier. Depending upon the choice of barrier material employed, the bags are classified as super barrier and medium barrier. Metallized polyester is the conventional barrier for aseptic bags and is used in medium barrier bags. Aluminum foil as barrier material is used if the products are extremely sensitive to oxidation and loss of aroma and is used in super barrier bags. The bags are available in sizes of 25 liters, 200 liters and 1140 liters. The 1140 liters bag is also available with separate emptying spout. So, this is all about aseptic food packaging system that you should know as a food science student. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more video like this. Thanks for watching.